This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. So we're at an anti-Obamacare repeal event in Colorado Springs. Technically, it's been canceled, but it was sort of canceled so much at the last minute that people still showed up. Oh, okay, so, so the, 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 uh, the good news is someone does care, but the bad news is that someone is me. And I have a question for you. No, thank you so much for caring. <laughs> Honestly, this is great. Thanks. Okay, well now, uh, what, what exactly are you here to, to support? We're in support of the Affordable Care Act. Okay. Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, um, so high. I'm wondering. Planned Parenthood. So why do you favor continued funding of a government that dropped 26,000 bombs last year? Well, that's a really, really good point. Um, actually, and those are really good things to address, but I think what we're here today to do is to address the fact that we really support the Affordable Care Act for 20 million people who didn't have insurance, who now have insurance. We're in support of that. Now, are you with Unite Colorado Springs? Um, no. Okay. All right. Now, are you with Unite Colorado Springs? No, nope. I'm not. Okay. What's your answer to the question? You had a little bit more time to think about it. Did you hear my question Which for her? Which question? Uh, why fund? Why be here to back funding for a government that dropped 26,000 bombs last year, mostly on civilians? I don't know that dropping 26,000 bombs really has anything to do with the Affordable Care Act. Um, all issues, I think, need to be dealt with separately, and I'm all for doing what's good right now for the American people, and uh, I don't think repealing the Affordable Care Act right now is the right thing to be doing. Now, what do you think should happen to someone that refuses to pay for the Affordable Care Act? You know, they've got laws in there for that that penalize people. I didn't ask what will happen, not, I asked what not, you think should happen. Um, I honestly think that the laws should not be made to penalize the consumer, but the laws ought to be made to make the health care providers understand what quantity can do for their own business. Well, you understand that there's an IRS provision. The IRS is the enforcement agent for Obamacare to a certain extent. So someone who's a tax resistor or uh, who doesn't want to pay for the 26,000 bombs gets come after by the IRS for, for not paying for Obamacare. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's not a very big percentage. You know, it's not who, a big percentage. Who, I mean, um, our first year... Of people, um, who, of people who do that? Or, right, or the percentage of money that you end up being charged if you don't have health care. Right. So oh. I think the first year in 2014 that we didn't have a chance to get our health insurance, I think we were penalized $90. What if you don't get it? What if you refuse to pay that fine? I'm not going to I have it. no idea. Yeah. I mean, no do you want me, to, you want me to go to jail? You know, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> so, um, do you want to go to jail? I'd rather go to jail than pay for torture. And okay, now, and my, I guess my consensus on that would be, is that something we ought to pull out of the Affordable Care Act? Is the penalty, the IRS penalty, for not supporting a mandate? Um, there's probably better ways to do that. I've always wondered. Okay, if we, if we penalize, say we've got 20 million people on health care. It would be a safe assumption there are still 20 million people that aren't. Um, and if they all are penalized $90 and that goes to the IRS, where does that money go? Does that penalized money go into funding the Affordable Care Act or does it go into funding the 26,000 bombs? 26,000 bombs were dropping. Um, that's a good question. Um, I appreciate, are, I appreciate the, your answers. These are, the, quest these are yeah. the answers we would like our representatives to be confronted with. And uh, we put them in office and we would like them to do in office what us, the voters, have put them in office to do. And that is to do what's right by the Colorado people and do what's right by the citizens of the United States. All right. Thanks, both of you, for your time. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thanks for coming by. We appreciate it. All right. It. I appreciate being appreciated. It doesn't happen every day. <laughs> no, it probably doesn't. <laughs>
Hey, it's uh, Colorado Springs City Hall where they're having the event. Nope, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.